Salvation history. I feel like getting into and preaching, and you know, that can last a really long time. Sometimes Mass of St. Columba can be two hours long, can't it? And well, we're not going to do that, but it is a children's Mass. But the beginning of the Bible is about God loving us, and that each person is made in God's image and likeness. Amen. And that every single person, no matter who they are, no matter what they look like, no matter how they are in the world, no matter who they love, gay, straight, up, down, left, right, no matter who they are, God does not make trash. Amen? God continues to love us, and God was always meant to be in the presence of Jesus Christ. He was meant to be born. He was meant to save us. He was meant to give us his son so that we should live to the full. And in doing that, each one of us are invited to live and celebrate. So this community has celebrated 120 years. We just finished it uh, this year. It has been an absolutely an amazing year of 120 years, and now we're going into our 121st year. We have a strategic plan. There are 69 crosses outside. We put another one up yesterday for the 69th murder and homicide in our city. So much as all, I would want to protect these children from that reality. We know the world is not perfect, and that the God of history wants to work with us and model for us what it is, to me, all to mean all. So everybody who comes through that door all year long are welcome, are loved, and are cared for. And our Black Lives Matter will stay up on, t on that wall until every black live and every brown live is held up in just as high esteem as any white life. Amen. And for all the sins of the Christian tradition, and the Christian tradition has many sins, especially against women. Women need to rise up. Somebody said to me the other day, a homily I preached, why don't all the women just not come to church one Sunday? In all the churches, and just see how many people would be sitting in the pews. And it would really let the Vatican and all church officials know that women are just as powerful and just as meant to be in the presence of one another and in leadership. And I pray for the day that that will happen. So in that spirit, each one of these children should grow up in a world that does not need borders. It needs bridges. It needs everything that this child needs to grow up. So what do you want to be when you grow up? Oh, God. Okay. What are you going to be when you grow up? A lawyer. What? Oh, okay, dude. What are you going to be? An astronaut. Okay. What are you going to be? Basketball player. Okay. Mechanical engineer. Basketball player. Pope. He said Pope. <laughs> You're not going to beat this, Haley, are you? What are you going to be? A vet. A vet. Why is your brother, well, let's not, not go there. <laughs> Mechanical engineer. Wow, good. Mechanical engineer. Are you saying that because she said that? <laughs> okay. What are you going to be? Scientist. Ooh, go, sister. Mechanical engineer. Oh, come on. <laughs> we really need all those chemical engineers. Dad said he was the best kind of job. Your dad said he was the best, was that what he is? Oh, okay, okay. Now, have you thought about it? Okay. The point is that every one of these children's aspirations should be enjoyed and celebrated. And I think that's what God plants the seeds in us to celebrate life. And that's what we're called to do. That's what we are about in church. That's what we want to be about in church. It's not about rules and regulations. It's about the love of God being celebrated. And we try to do that in the best way we can. Yes, we're in the Catholic tradition, we love our Catholic tradition, but we also can be constructively critical of it. And uh, we do, and we get into trouble for it, but that's okay. They need us more than we need them, so it's all about the, the celebration of our faith, especially through the African-American traditions that we celebrate here at St. Columba. So, that was my mini homily.